to another JK Deal Reveal Key to Freedom series, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm very excited to bring you yet again another potential deal. But as always, it's up to you to decide, is this a deal or no deal? And we're going to put on some specific lenses tonight again to see if it fits in the Key to Freedom series. And if it's the first time here, well, I'll explain what that's all about. And for those of you who know the drill, well, at any point, feel free to chime in and say if this is a deal or no deal. And today, we're going to present a little bit the passive side of the key to freedom and the active side of the key to freedom to see which one might be a better fit. So before jumping in, I want to remind you all that we are zooming right along in our New Year's Revolution program. Tonight, right after the deal reveal, we are going to continue on to module three of four of the New Year's Revolution. So if you haven't been part of that yet, I highly, highly recommend you do it, especially as we begin a new year. This is an, an amazing opportunity to set our dreams, our visions, and basically get what we want out of this life. And this year, 2023, it's going to be an amazing one if we so decide that it's going to be. And we want to help you along some very creative uh, vision board, dream letter, mind mapping, vision pacing exercises to help you get there, maybe even a lot faster and a lot smoother than you thought possible. And we're, uh, you know, we're continuing on. For those of you in the investor portfolio bundle, we are halfway through master negotiations program right now. Um, on our last module, we covered 21 different strategies and techniques and negotiations that you can apply to your real estate business. And so that is, well, that is what it is. Uh, next week, we're wrapping up master negotiations and continuing on to multifamily manifestation, where maybe your first 20-unit apartment building isn't so far out of reach as you might have thought. How do you manifest uh, multifamilies into your life and into your portfolio? That's what this program is about. So, and of course, our entrepreneurship, our morning call is still running strong three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So there has to be, well, there, there's something in here um, for you. If you're not already jumping uh, on board, well, this is just another reminder that we're here for you. So the key to freedom, we're getting excited because we are going to analyze a deal lightning fast as we know what to do, as we know we do on the deal reveal. And we're going to see if we can get that cash flow and fit maybe someone's dream home in the process. So thank you, Chris, for submitting this week's um, uh, deal reveal property. And we are back in Cleveland. Like I said, we're going to have a lot of properties in Cleveland uh, in our Deal Reveal Key to Freedom series. Um, I'm, I'm there now, and there's a ton of opportunities. And uh, we'd like as many of you listening in who able to join in on that action with us. So we've got this property um, more expensive than the average one. $299,000. Let's see what this property is all about. Okay, so let's jump in, start the timer. Here we go. So the very first place you can go is on Zillow or Truly or Realtor.com, one of those big fish websites, just to get a sense of what we're looking at here. So it's a four bedroom, two bath. Right away, you're, it could be a single family or a duplex with this uh, with these stats here at 3,000 square feet, 300,000. So right away, whether it's a duplex or a single family at 300,000, it better be something pretty amazing at that price point, especially in Cleveland, because this is expensive. You can easily get duplexes under 100,000 in Cleveland. So why would we pay 300? Well, let's see if we've got anything that really stands out of the ordinary. So as you can see, um, it's nice. 
it's definitely nice. Um, not modernized, updated, but um, it seems to be very clean. There's certainly no holes in the walls. I'm surprised that there's not higher end finishes for this price point. Um, very surprised actually. Uh, let's continue on the second bathroom. We've got just really regular tiles, basement, clean and organized. And then we got probably a second floor. <clears throat> so from the pictures, I'm not impressed for that price point. So let's see what else is going on uh, for this particular property. The Zestimate, so Zillow's estimate of what this property's value is, is right around 300,000, 282 to 312. And we see the, pro, you know, the progression of the price over, over the last couple of years, over the last 10 years approximately. It's been trending upwards. We got a nice little exponential happening there. Um, listed uh, about two weeks ago for two, 299. It was sold a couple of months ago, two months, two, two and a half months ago for 215,000. And now they're putting it back up for a $75,000 um, potential profit. Now, how much renovation did they do to it to get there? It doesn't look like much or any. So this might be a wholesale, uh, meaning a wholesale retail, don't do anything, just buy it and put it back on the market and basically try to, uh, to wholesale on the retail market like that. Some comparables that we see for sale at 240, for sale at 280. Um, really, nothing is really stepping out of the ordinary right now to justify such a high price point. And as we'll probably find out, rents are likely not going to support this investment. But um, that's one place. Another place we can go just to realtor.com. Yeah, my search engine defaulted to Bing for some reason there, but uh, we'll get there. Let's put that address back in with Realtor, see what we have. Do, do, do. There it is. Here's our property from the outside. It looks very clean, very well put together. Two-car garage. Okay, this is definitely what's going to partially explain that price point. We are right um, basically in Edgewater or near Edgewater, I'm not too sure, which is on the west side of Cleveland near the lake and near particularly near the Edgewater Beach area. So this is a desirable area, especially north of Clifton here. Once we get here, these are A class properties. These are million dollar properties or if not very close to, but south of Clifton, it is, a, you know, it does really change. Um, we'd have to see really street by street what's happening, but look at that proximity to the Edgewater Beach and the lake here. So for those of you who don't know, yes, everything north of this Clifton Boulevard of the 20 here is definitely very high end and, um, and everything near Edgewater and let me zoom out a little bit more here, the Edgewater area, Edgewater Hill, West 80s, and then oh, Ohio City and Tremont area. Um, these, are the, these are the four of the five big pockets for short-term rentals in Cleveland. And so, okay, we've got, um, did we figure out if it was a duplex after all? I'm pretty sure it is a duplex from that picture we saw, the front facing picture, two doors, definitely duplex. So we got a duplex in one of the hot pockets in, in Cleveland for short-term rentals. It seems to be worth about 300,000. So are we buying at a discount? It seems like they, they listed it pretty much at market value. So your negotiating skills are gonna make it so that are you buying at a discount or not? Turnkey, meh, on terms of the uh, upgrades that you might wanna put in it. Let's take a quick look to see if you did rent this out with long-term tenants. Uh, what would we basically get really quick here? Not that we're expecting um, something incredible based on um, a 300,000 price point, but here it is. Average 1,200 a month. So yes, higher than what we normally expect like on the, on the 
inner city Cleveland, but let's say 1200 a month. We've got two sides, 12 months a year, most years. And we've got our 50% rule on real estate. So $14,000 a year net if you bought this cash. And if you bought it cash, that would mean you'd need 300,000. So you're basically at a five cap. And if you've been following this deal reveal for a little while, five cap is probably not very exciting for you. Um, but basically, I don't think this is the play here. I think the play with this location would either be to run an Airbnb short-term rental out of this property because it has two sides and a location that is definitely in demand for short-term rentals. Uh, by the way, right east, uh, right on the west side of this Edgewater Beach is a doggy park as well. So you can even make it make it furry friendly, not furry friendly, but um, for your our, friendly for our furry companions, put it that way. Um, so that could a, a, attract a different type of clientele as well. That maybe uh, that might widen up your your marketing for your short term rental. So. Let's take a look real quick. This is what this property would generate on Air DNA. Basically, if you did turn this into a short-term rental, um, each side it would estimate to bring in about thirty thousand a year. Um, so as you can see, the numbers are a little bit better with this, right? Thirty thousand. So twenty-nine times two. There's two sides to this, and then figure again that fifty percent rule because expenses are higher in a short-term rentals, you're in charge of all the utilities and there's cleanings to keep in mind. So a 50% expense ratio is not crazy on a short-term rental, but typically the income is higher. So now we have 29,000 net a year coming off that $300,000 investment. And so this property is basically operating right around a 10 cap with both sides operating as short-term rentals. So. At this point, what do we have? Um, how much cash flow do we have? We're between a five and a 10 cap, depending on if we're in short term or long term rentals. And we are basically buying right at market value at 300,000 based on the quick, um, the quick research we did on, on Zillow and Realtor.com. In fact, on Realtor, I could have went back and looked at their estimations of value because I do like their real estimates here. We have somewhere between 214,000 and 300,000 with a current list of 299. And we look at all these trends, there are three ways of calculating properties. That 300 seems to be on the high side of these three estimates. So, you know, it does seem like 300 is overpriced and the cash flow, the cap rate is between five and 10. So with that being said, how are we looking? It's in a great area, most likely. Uh, it's looking like it. And is this a deal or no deal? Let us know. AZ already chimed in, not feeling this one. Okay. Um, I would like to bring this into a fold with perhaps a different perspective. In the lens, in the context of the key to freedom specifically, this is a duplex, meaning someone could, either someone who lives in Cleveland or someone who wants or who's, who's about to live in Cleveland, could live in this property and generate um, or run the short-term rental on the other side, effectively have what we call a mortgage helper or a house hacking opportunity here. So if, if, if the person buying this property is involved in the active side of the key to freedom because they're on site and they maybe this is their dream home because of the location of this property so close to the Edgewater uh, Beach and on this side, this could be an opportunity for an active member of the key to freedom, someone who would live in one half of this property and house hack the other. The other side could be a short-term rental generating 30,000 a year. And if, for example, they're handling the cleanings themselves, maybe that would make that their net isn't, um, you know, wouldn't be like 15,000 a year, it'd be closer to 20 or 25,000 a year, which could completely cover the costs of that property for them and live rent and mortgage free. Uh, we'd have to run the full extensive numbers, but I just wanted to bring this side of the equation into the mix 
which is the active side of the key to freedom program. When you buy a duplex or even a single family with an extra suite, a separate entrance, separate suite or a triplex, you can house hack these opportunities, live in it or partner with someone who lives in it and ultimately make it a win-win for everyone. So if it works for someone on the active side of the key to freedom, let's remember what this is all about. So there's a passive side and an active side. On the passive side, you have someone just buying this property using maybe their RSPs or their TFSAs for their flat return, 8%, and they would rent it to someone above market value. They'd get their built-in tenant and they would sell it to the Key to Freedom active member in a couple of years, two or three years down the line. And I've already identified a Goldilocks zone for the Key to Freedom, which is four two turnkey this we satisfy on this property, but a purchase price of 100 to 150,000, we're basically double the triple that. So this is what's kind of throwing our numbers a little bit off to be the perfect key to freedom property with no stage, um, no renovations, and basically just needing furniture and theming. So that's the passive side. It's been a couple of deal reveals that I go through, um, but I, now I wanted to talk a little bit about the active side. If there's someone who is living in Cleveland, who wants to live in Cleveland and wants to do this house hacking opportunity, what does it look like for them? Let's say they live in one side of this duplex. Let's say Chris buys the property and then he rents it out to someone who's going to fall into this side of the Key to Freedom program. Well, that person is gonna live on one side maybe and, and manage rent out the other side. In a lease option, where in two to three years they get to buy the property and ultimately because the down payment is partially or in full built into the deal structure, the active member will be able to buy this property with little or no money down, which is very appealing for the active member who may not have uh, much money or capital or credit, etc. The active member, since they are the, the active member, they might even choose to put their own side of that duplex, the one they're living in, they could put it up for rental on Airbnb as well. And when it gets booked, they go live at a friend's, they go on a road trip, they go elsewhere to make, to increase their cash flow on this um, active investment that they're involved in. Maybe that person is willing to, to have that sacrifice and that compromise in their life. Um, they also, um, there's, there's management built in, of course, we're handling, uh, we mind management, our short-term rental management company is handling, um, guest communications and the structure, but ultimately they have a, a, a role to play in the management being the on-site point of contact and potentially even cleaner to, uh, boost their cash flow and their income right where they live. And this might be their dream home, right? They can enter into this key to freedom program in a property that they would consider a dream home that they'll be able to buy in two or three years from now. And the Goldilocks zone stays the same. We want the active and the passive member to align with the type of property that fits perfectly for the model. So with that being said, right? Is this still a deal or no deal? This is what's really, really interesting about the Key to Freedom program. So long as we don't get too far away from our Goldilocks zone, right? For our uh, passive member, right? They get their flat return because the program that uh, that JK has, has pioneered with, with Gabby, if you've attended the blueprint, you know about that. It, it's a fixed 8% return that you are basically lending to yourself. So the passive member doesn't really, it doesn't really matter what property is being chosen so long as it's in a good area where short-term rentals work. And so long as the active member in the equation is able to pay the rent and, and, and then some and create cash flow for themselves to build up their down payment over the next two to three years. And so it really comes down to the numbers and uh, as we see here um, at 300,000, you know, uh, yes, the location is good, but the numbers 
are not exactly up to par. They could work, but I would have my doubts about creating $1,000 a month cash flow for the active member on this particular key to freedom deal. Uh, but it could be a way if an active member wants to get in here and not maybe not have cash flow in their equation, but they just want to line themselves up to buy this property in two to three years. I think the passive member can get their 8%, boom, boom. And the active member is just lining up a purchase that they currently would never have access to because of credit or um, liquidity challenges. And so that's what I wanted to say for today. That's our deal reveal for today. Depending on what you're looking for, this might be a deal in a price point that would normally would have completely been rejected in a typical deal reveal uh, in 2022. Now that we have the key to freedom in here, we're able to access the higher end, nicer properties at a higher price point. And it just depends about finding the right active member for, um, for the program. And I'll remind you, um, in the JK community, we have active members. We have some people who are currently in Cleveland. I am currently in Cleveland myself. Um, and we have people who are looking to move to the States. And so if there's a property and if the key to freedom is of interest to you, either from a passive perspective, just putting your, your, your liquidity to play or your RSPs to play, boom. Or if you want to be active in this and you want to, to do something there, reach out to us. We want to become the matchmakers in this key to freedom between the active and passive partners. And so that's it. Deal or no deal, that's up to you to decide. And if you have any uh, questions or if you'd like to, to be part of the program, well, don't wait. Don't wait. <laughs> don't wait for the sunshine. It's already here. So you can send us an email at info at nowfortomorrow.club to join the key to freedom. This is, this is a matchmaking opportunity. This is not, uh, there's no extra cost to join the program. You just let us know what you're looking for and we will see what we can do from within the community. And if any of the programs we mentioned is of interest to you from the New Year's Revolution to the Investor Bundle to the Blueprint or the recording of the Blueprint, just send, an, send us an email, either info at or success at nowfortomorrow.club and we'll get you handled. So have yourself a most wonderful evening and see you next time, Now For Tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Don't wait for tomorrow